<laughs> What's going on, DMG clan? Today, I'm gonna show you how I got 3DS emulation working with the DNA Duo and the AYN Odin 2. So I'm gonna level up your gaming knowledge just a bit more because we're almost nearing the end of 2024. That's right, mobile gamers. So what you see me playing is 3DS emulation on the AYN Odin 2. And you're probably wondering, how the heck did I get it to play on two screens? So I've been tinkering with Lime 3DS with Android for a bit, and I, for the life of me, don't understand Kotlin whatsoever. I am a Java developer. I get what Kotlin's trying to do. It is an ugly code to me. So that being said, I have been trying to do conversions, trying to do other things to make this work and understand how it works in general with rendering the surface view on separate displays and all that kind of stuff and how they do the dual screen thing. So I showcased a way that I ended up making it work and it's not really that good because I'm double rendering the game and it just does not run as well as it would normally with the game running by itself. So what I had an idea of was, hey, whatever happened to Linux? Linux for the Odin 2. So I went to Project Renegade and I found out that they actually have been working on it. They have an actual Arch Linux build now and it's easily able to be flashed to your SD card rather than your internal storage or your UFS, UFS storage on the actual device so that you don't have to do any crazy tinkering or learn how to use anything. And I wrote out an entire section on my computer in my notepad to actually kind of remember what I was doing because I'm not fluent with Arch Linux. And I basically wrote out a bunch of commands of what to do, how to update the Arch Linux build and set it all up and everything. And then I was like, all right, we're trying Lime 3DS. Lime 3DS, yes, it runs okay. Now, I have this scaled at 2x resolution. I have this set up for, uh, you can only use Vulkan right now. And I find that OpenGL works a lot better, but I guess OpenGL is not available yet or something. Like I said, I don't know a lot about Linux. I just know how to Google how to use it and how to basically copy and paste sudo pacman commands or sudo apt update commands and all that kind of stuff with even Ubuntu and stuff like that. I'm not a daily Linux user. I just know how to search out how to do all this kind of stuff and go into the terminal and update stuff and change the configuration files and stuff like that from questions that I asked way back in March of 2024 about how Arch Linux or Linux in general is able to be ran on the Odin 2. As you see here, I'm playing throughout this entire video that I'm rambling on about 3DS emulation. Now, it does stutter a lot. It's I have it at 2x. Maybe it'll be better at 1x resolution. I tried to configure like the settings for the actual uh, CPU and everything like that as well. And it didn't, it seemed like it actually boosted the performance a bit, but it still slowed it down because Vulkan is actually a really heavy demanding uh, renderer and it does slow down the device if you don't have it performing well or set up to perform well. Now you're also running everything off an SD card and yeah, the Linux build itself is off the SD card. So maybe it will run a lot better if you ended up partitioning the Odin 2 to actually run Linux right off the UFS storage. Now, that's what I did at the beginning way, way back. And that was way back in like March or whatever. And that was before the DNA Duo even became a thing. And that was kind of the same time frame that I started talking about the DNA Duo. So yes, it kind of works for the DNA Duo. No, this video wasn't clickbait because it does work. So if anybody's like, oh, this was clickbait. Well, no, it wasn't clickbait. And if anybody says, well, get the original hardware, I have the original hardware. I play my 3DS every once in a while, but my kids play it. And now, especially with the DNA Duo, I play 3DS emulation because it looks freaking good and it looks amazing. It plays amazing. It plays amazingly well on the Steam Deck and the Asus Rogue Ally. Now, I'm hoping that... I can maybe have a mind-boggling moment to make this fully work with Android because it would be cool if it worked for Android for the Retroid, the Odin 2, the Retroid Pocket 5 that's coming out, the Odin 
Mini, the Retroid Pocket Mini that's coming out, and other Android devices, right? Any Android device that's able to run 3DS emulation really well. Because 3DS emulation does run really well, but there's a lot of times where you need both screens all the time. And I hate the little tiny screen on the bottom right hand side of my device or off to the left hand side of my device. So I had this idea the other day of installing Linux, able to be flashed with Bellina Etcher on your computer, do an SD card. If you guys want me to show you how to install Linux, maybe I'll do a video about that. Right now, my top priorities are to get this DNA Duo produced and sent out to you guys as soon as the campaign ends. If you don't know what the DNA Duo is, go check out the Indiegogo page in the link in the description below. Maybe this will grab your attention to maybe you want to buy one because I have put a lot of time and effort in designing this. And even the design you see here today is actually changed a bit already. I have made the magnets a lot stronger. I've made the design a lot stronger with the hinge and everything. And I am still working on other devices. I have answered this multiple times. Yes, I am working on all the other devices, but my main priority right now are the devices that are the most popular, being the AYN Odin 2, the Retroid Pocket 4 Pro, the Asus Rogue Ally, the Steam Deck, and then I will work on other attachments for the DNA. So, I love you all. I'm going to sign off now because I know not a lot of people probably made it to the six minute mark. But if they did, thank you for watching because, you know, every minute that you watch of my videos, that actually makes me a little bit of money as well. And that helps with me being able to produce stuff like this and being able to develop stuff like this because the DNA Duo is going to be a costly thing. And I'm not really making that much money off of selling them to you guys. I am, yeah, I'm not going to tell you how much I'm making, but I'm not making a lot. So that all being said, I hope that the DNA Duo makes it to the 50,000 that it needs. I hope it makes double that even before November. If I don't make that by the next 20 days, then it'll just slow down the process. I have alternative methods to get this stuff going and get everything produced. It's just gonna slow it down a little bit and it won't maybe go out to the public by November, like I was anticipating, but I might be able to get some samples to reviewers and stuff so that you guys can actually see how well it actually works. Because I'm probably biased about it, but I love the thing. My wife says it looks awesome, and even my sister-in-law and brother-in-law played on it. So they enjoyed it, and my sister-in-law is really not that tech-savvy, but she played on it on the Asus, and she liked it. So that all aside... Hope you guys have a nice rest of your Sunday. It is Sunday as I'm filming this the same day because I thought about this over on Friday and then I decided not to film it yesterday and I decided to film it this morning. So take care. See you next time. I love you all. Get yourself a DNA Duo if you want to add a second screen to any of your mobile handhelds or even your laptop or your Windows PC monitor.